Ready to go, here we are with Brendan Gale, CEO of the number one sporting club in the land. And our first question, Brendan, is if you were mentoring a salesperson at Buxton Bentley that was enduring a performance and confidence slump, what advice might you give them? The advice I would give, uh, the most important advice I would give was to have the courage to be yourself. And I think that no matter what we do in life, whether it's a footy club, whether it's in sales, um, whether it's property, whether it's technology, whether it's vacuum cleaners, we're all selling something. And to sell, you've got to have attachment and trust with a customer and client. And I think to be trusted, you create that connection, you've got to be yourself. You can't sell the best version of yourself or you can't be something you're not. Um, so I think to have the courage to be yourself and your real self, your authentic self, and mm. that's the basis of attachment and trust. And once people trust you, yeah. you're much more likely to sell. Yeah, that really resonates. And John, you've got a bit about goal setting. Yeah, back in 2020, on t 2010, March 23rd, you made a, a vision for the club to have three premierships and 100,000 members. And 10 years later, you achieved two premierships and 100,000 four members. Where did they come from? Well, well, Johnny, I mean, Richmond's always been an ambitious club and uh, and clearly there's 30 odd years of, of mediocrity, but it's it's always been an ambitious club and I think that, that real ambition has spurned the club on. So I think you've got to have ambitious goals and I think you've got to have a vision of the future that's compelling and you've got to present that to people and you've got to get them to buy in that. And um, But, um, but you know, what's, what's more important than simply a vision and goals is having the roadmap and I probably think at Richmond at various stages, we, we haven't probably had that clear roadmap. The things that we have to do, the things we have to put in place, the boxes that we have to tick, the signposts that tell us we're on the way and doing a good job. So it's the roadmap that's almost more important. That's the strategy, the priorities. Um, and if you get that right, I mean, you give yourself a chance of realising that vision. Having good people hurt, sorry, having good people really help too, mate. And your moment and, when you won and, the premiership. And, and Dustin Martin. Oh, well. <laughs> and I probably will take it quick, but the actual moment when you were quite emotional and crying at that moment on TV, how, how was that feeling when you knew you were in the game in two Well, it's, it's, it's an incredible feeling, mate. It's, um, it's more of a relief. That's all I could the, yeah. the, the, you know, Once you're in the grand final and the pressure to, you know, you, you can't contemplate losing. So the pressure to win is incredible. And, even though everyone says just try and relax and enjoy the day you can't control, it's, it's huge, it's immense. So when you actually, it's when you tell yourself, you know, when you tell yourself we've won, because you know it's like, you don't want to get ahead of yourself, you stay in the moment, no matter what you do, you stay in the moment, stick to the process, but when you actually allow yourself to tell yourself we've won, it was just a huge relief. Oh. <clears throat> it's just a huge weight off the shoulders. I was at that game with my best friend Sam Hendry, who's got a son, Charlie Hendry, living up on the Gold Coast, an aspiring Richmond supporter. If there was three words you could say to Charlie Hendry with a view to the future, Brendan, what might they be? I would say to Charlie Hendry that the most important three words, and perhaps even the meaning of life, is yellow and black. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, that's